Raven West. A name that strikes fear into the opposition. Dominance personified, relentless in their pursuit for success and glory, uncompromising in that pursuit. Raven West has always been at the top in every discipline it has participated in. GT, IndyCar, prototype racing, and now the time has come for Formula One. You must understand how important this job is, Chris, so that we do not fail. Do you understand? I'm fully aware of the gravity of the situation. Excellent. Obviously, I must point out that the mid-season break is where we're going to measure your performance, and if you're not in the top five, then the investors are going to be pushing for me to replace you. I appreciate that, Nathan, but I don't think that's going to be necessary. Well, good. I didn't want to have to do that. I picked you myself. I have full confidence in your abilities. Now, I won't keep you any longer. I'm sure you have a lot of work to do before Australia, so I'm going to let you get on with that. So, good luck, sir. <laughs> No pressure, I guess. Come in. Boss, your press event is in five minutes. We're going to need you downstairs, sir. Yeah, sure. I'll be down in a minute. Uh, this F1 business is non-stop. Okay, we're live in five, four, three... Hello folks and welcome to the HQ of Formula One's newest team. We've been invited backstage to gain an exclusive insight into what could be one of the most exciting entries in the sport for many years. Now we've seen a number of new teams enter the sport over the last decade, amongst their number Manor, Caterham, HRT and of course Haas. And while some have proved to be successful, others have morphed into different teams and some have disappeared completely. What's very special about this team, though, is that, that while the team itself is new to Formula One, so too is its driver and owner. So tell us a little about yourself. What's the thing you're most excited about being here in Formula One? Um, probably uh, the competition that we're facing, obviously. Uh, names such as Ferrari, Williams, McLaren, most recently Mercedes, even Red Bull. Uh, they're kind of prestigious names in motorsport now. Um, I mean, Ferrari always has been. They've been around uh, longer than anyone. And obviously, Williams, in terms of the independent kind of thing, gives a team like us a bit of hope that you can stay around in a motorsport for a long time and not be a major manufacturer. Um, but yeah, probably facing off against those is, is going to be the most exciting thing, along with uh, the development journey that we're going to go on. You know, how competitive are we going to be from the start? How can we improve from on that? So... Um, it's going to be very interesting to see how that goes, and I think uh, I'm excited to see how this team progresses, how well we do, and uh, you know, obviously, and the racing. You know, that that bit's going to be how exciting is is the racing going to be? What are the overtakes going to be like? How well are we going to be able to be uh, at way, making our way through the grid? So yeah, as a whole, I'm excited for the whole thing, but definitely the competition and the, and the development of this team is. Um, something that I'm very much looking forward to. What do you think your prospects are for the season? Are you aiming just for points? Or do you think you've got a chance at the title? Um, well, I think uh, points from the get-go is going to be the main aim. Um, obviously, we've got no idea how we're going to stack up against the opposition. Um, hopefully, we're in the midfield, which is you know what we're looking for. No team ever goes into F1 looking to be at the back. Um, but points points on the board are probably what we're going to be aiming for um, first half of the season and then obviously depending on the progress we'll, we'll adjust that aim from there um, in terms of title aspirations I've, it, it, would, it would be very um, overly confident and some people would call cocky to say that we're aiming for a title in the first season you've got to be realistic um, ultimately that's the goal of Raven West to be champion um, we wouldn't be in this motorsport if we didn't think we could develop a car uh, later that down the line to become that competitive. But uh, 
you know we it's it's win or go home with Raven West you know there's only so long that we'll want to be fighting around in the midfield so um, but you know early on obviously you've got to be realistic we're, we're just getting our feet wet and uh, if we can come away from the first couple of races with a point or two you know particularly in Australia if we can get you know top 10 finish uh, that would be ideal and that would be a good springboard for for progress going into the rest of the season. No one aims to finish bottom of the table. Who's the team you're aiming to beat? Um, I mean, given that we're powered by a Honda engine, I would probably say the measuring stick for us would be Alpha Tori early doors. Um, if we can be sort of level with them, fighting with them, and hopefully eventually beating them, uh, I think that would be a good a good start a good sign of how things are going and um you know perhaps then measure up against the other honda team red bull um obviously it, it's quite easy to sort of compare yourself to the uh, other teams with the same power unit as you so i think that's kind of what, what we'll be going for um uh, but yeah as the measuring stick for us is definitely alpha tori and if we can uh, beat them then uh, i think that's a, a very good uh, start to the season really the other teams now have years of experience, both on and off the track. How are you planning to catch up to them? Well, um, I think it's with us, obviously, we, we have the added advantage to what a lot of n new teams generally don't have, uh, is that we're involved in other disciplines. So we, we have been to a lot of the Grand Prix circuits that are currently on the calendar. So, um, you know, like Spa, uh, Bahrain so we we have some data that we can already work off of um, so I think we have that going for us um, which can help I think kind of bridge the gap between us and some of the midfield teams um, and then obviously uh, the brand Raven West um, has a way of getting good people on board sure mistakes will be made but we learn from mistakes and uh, hopefully that gap will close early and we can start being uh, competitive from the get-go, really. Overtaking is a key part of this sport. How have you ensured that your car can take advantage of each opportunity that comes your way? Uh, well, the the powertrain is uh, pretty good. I've got to say, I've been very impressed with how uh, with what Honda has uh, given us. Um, obviously, it's had a few teething issues over the last few years with with Red Bull. Um, so we're working very closely with Honda to try and make sure that we don't have those kind of uh, durability issues. Um, and I think uh, we're, we're quite good under braking. So I would like to think uh, late dive bombs into corners uh, from our drivers will certainly making it exciting for the fans. Uh, well, it, it's really, it'll be interesting to see what happens in the race and uh, hopefully you'll be able to see our cars doing plenty of overtakes. And finally, which of your new departments are you most proud of? put me on the spot a bit there uh, everyone is uh, all our departments have done really well to be honest uh, given the facilities that we obviously as you know we we took over we, we bought the old caterum facility um, and we've had some work done to that to, to make it more accommodating um, I've got to say the the aerodynamic department has done really well given the resources that they have that you know we, we don't really have a wind tunnel per se um, so for them to have developed uh, the the package that we've got right now uh, with a very restrictive department, uh, they've done really well. Um, the guys who have really pulled all the stops out, probably the, the guys working on the chassis, um, it's really light, really nimble. The car is extremely responsive um, in the slow corners. So. Uh, they've done a really good job there. Obviously, the guys at Honda have done a, a great job with the engine. Um, and as I said, the durability team and, and Honda are basically working in tandem. So um, the ones that have impressed me the most, I mean, they've all impressed me. Uh, it, it's, it's really hard to sort of point a finger and give a gold star to someone. Um, but in terms of something that's really going to give us a, a, an edge on the circuit, I think uh, the guys who have worked on the chassis have done really well. So... Um, if I had to pick a department, it'd be them. But as a whole, the, the entire team has done uh, really well to produce a car that um, will hopefully be very competitive from the uh, from the get-go. 
Well, that's about all we've got time for here. We will see how this fledgling team fares in its first Grand Prix. OK, great. Thank you. That's a wrap. Well, for those of you that are staying up, good morning to you and welcome to the Australian Grand Prix. We're here at Albert Park in Melbourne to bring you the debut of the 2023 Grand Prix circuit. It's a lovely afternoon here in Melbourne, Australia for the Albert Park circuit. 3.2 miles and 16 turns. They will go through today. Three DRS zones available times uh, this has been a, a, a what has been the more traditional opening to the Grand Prix circuit indeed when it was uh, down in Adelaide all those years ago it was always a traditional close to the Grand Prix circuit as we move forward into the new season and with its new season comes a new team which has entered Formula One racing for this year the debut of Raven, Raven West Racing taking part and uh, this promises to be a real joy to enjoy as uh, Lance Stroll, the uh, Canadian driver, just uh, getting himself introduced to the cameras. There is our safety car today. One hopes that we don't see that come out and we get a good clean race. And here's Max Verstappen in the Red Bull getting uh, himself set and his team set. And we're all set to take a look at the grid for all the drivers that will take part in this 22 car race for the opening race of the 2020 Formula One calendar. Kimi Raikkonen, exceptionally great performance by him in the Alfa Romeo to get to 13th. Trying to stay cool. I don't think the film will have a problem with that. So this is how the grid lines up for the Australian Grand Prix and the opening round of the 2020 season. Hamilton takes it ahead of his partner Valtteri Bottas. It's the Ferraris on the second row with Vettel ahead of Leclerc. Verstappen's got ahead of Albon and Hector Gonzalez in the Raven West is in 7th ahead of Carlos Sainz is 8th. Daniel Ricciardo, the local boy, is down in 10th. Kimi Raikkonen's wonderful performance puts him 13th. Pierre Gasly gets in ahead of Magnussen and Lando Norris who takes a 10 place grid penalty despite a good qualifying session. Mick Schumacher is 21st and Nicholas Latifi in the Williams Racing brings up the back of the grid. Right, so here we go. The Grand Prix is... Go, 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 go! Yes, was away! It's a good start by Hamilton. It's a fantastic start by Valtteri Bottas. He's got alongside Hamilton. And there goes Gonzalez in the Raven West and just into the first corner. Ancient Volos collision slightly there with Vettel. Got away with it. So the Raven West is up into fourth place. Able to jump Charles Leclerc into the opening turning as well. And he's all over the pack straight away of Sebastian Vettel. Oh, wonderful start for Gonzalez in the Raven West. So as we go through the opening few laps of this Grand Prix, you can see straight away after the excellent start that has taken place. And look at that. There goes Verstappen further up the track. And, uh, it's always a wonderful start. So just counting it, Bottas is first, Hamilton is second, Vettel is third. Gonzalez in the Raven West. Honda is fourth. The opening of 15 laps. Well, let's have a quick replay of what just took place at the start. This is Charles Leclerc, and this is what he saw. And look at that from Gonzalez. Goodness me. What a start that was. Wheel to wheel action. So close and snuck through. And this is Bottas and his start. And he just got the jump on Lewis Hamilton. He had the racing line and uh, was able to take uh, the lead into the Grand Prix. Great start, it has to be said, by Bottas. Well, this is, uh, we are now following the third place driver. Well, now here's uh, Gonzalez in the Raven West, and already you can see that Honda Power being challenged at the moment by the other Honda Power car. Indeed, it is the uh, Red Bull Racing that's sitting right behind. We'll have to wait to see the DRS points to see if they can hold it up. Leclerc sitting behind and we are through for the opening lap of the Australian Grand Prix of 2020. Promises to be an absolutely amazing season. 
I'm sure absolutely nothing is going to disrupt the season. At the moment, I don't think anything's disrupting Hector Gonzalez in the Raven West. The 31-year-old holding the line. He's got real pressure sitting behind him from Verstappen. Verstappen is probably thinking to himself about waiting for the opportunity, waiting for the DRS to open up. And three DRS points is not terribly long, but you would imagine through the pit straight into Turn 1 will probably be the chosen overtaking area. If not, it'll be heading through 12 and 13. Uh, that'll be the main point where these cars may look to go. We are on board at the moment with Max Verstappen, the Dutch driver. Gonzalez ahead of him. Verstappen also has to be mindful because Charles Leclerc is also sitting behind him. Just to inform you that young Mike Schumacher still in 21st place in the other Raven West. So he's got through a nice wonderful performance in Formula 2 of last year. He's done an exceptionally good job. Gonzalez has got through and he was a pick by Nathan McCain. Raven West is owners uh, to be the open wheel specialist and their F1 driver for this season. And uh, specialist or not, he's under serious pressure at the moment from Max Verstappen, who has made a great name for himself. Obviously, the son of Jos Verstappen and made a name and going defensive here into the first corner, trying to go onto the outside and shuts the door. Gonzalez, good driving, but starting to bring up a little train. Here is the top 10 as it stands. Bottas leads Hamilton from Vettel. Gonzalez, Verstappen, Leclerc, Sainz, Albon, Ricardo, Esteban, Arcon bring up the top 10. So there's the point scorers for this season. So Vettel is in third place. And it doesn't look like he's able to get anything near looking at the lap times coming through of uh, Hamilton and Bottas, which is ahead. Raven West here of Gonzalez seems to be at the moment holding up a huge queue of drivers behind them. Um, and this will be a, a tense moment in this relatively new side. It's a stunning performance in qualifying by Gonzalez. And he has made an absolutely amazing start. But can he hold it in anymore? Now this is the chance for Verstappen. He's having a little look again. Having another little look. And uh, good work by Gonzalez to close the door. And just through the outside. And this might be the chance. Having to defend two drivers at once. It's near and impossible. Oh, there's a collision. There's a collision between Leclerc and Verstappen. Oh, would you believe it? After all that, Verstappen shot back down the order. And now the McLaren and Sainz is sitting right behind it. Oh, goodness me. Look at that. Leclerc and Verstappen both going for an impossible overtake. As Verstappen tries to keep on the power and get ahead of Esteban Ocon, he's not able to do it, he's not able to do it, he's got Daniel Ricciardo behind him, disaster for Max Verstappen, has he got enough to hold the line and go through again, he's been shut down and he has been passed, is he, oh wow, 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 what a move, what a move there, Verstappen has done the business and got ahead of Ocon, this is Absolutely brilliant racing the wheel to wheel, but at the moment Ocon is refusing to give up and he comes back again. And there might have been another collision, and I think they might have just got away with it. This is absolutely magnificent racing. Neither driver willing to yield Ocon again. The Frenchman just getting ahead of Verstappen, and uh, Ricardo was uh, jumping ahead and moving away. Wow, wow, wow. Now, is this a chance? Has the uh, Renault got more power than there's the. Uh, Red Bull, there will be a point here where DRS is going to play a part in, in this and uh, I wonder if this is it now because they're into the DRS point and Esteban Ogon is just trying to and shutting the door again. Uh, uh, brilliantly done it has to be say. Here's Max Verstappen, a very talented Dutch driver. Well this is worth a replay and this is the review from Paul, uh, Carlos Sainz. This is what he saw and he went thank you very much. and. Um, if you have a look at that, it's a case of uh, Verstappen and Leclerc breaking too heavily. And oh no! Oh no! And uh, the Woking base team, they will not be happy about this. And out goes Lando Norris of the Australian Grand Prix. That engine is gone. Losing power, losing power, it's going. Let's just pull over to one side, please. Pull over to one side. Well, I don't think Norris sound particularly happy about that on the uh, radio. Quite distraught, mind you. This is the battle for the uh, lead, and uh, oh, it's 
safety car. Box, 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 box. Oh wow, what's happening here? Well, the safety car's been deployed and both Mercedes have come into pit at the same time. This could be absolutely disastrous for Lewis Hamilton that has to wait. And uh, the Ferrari line up and in comes Sebastian Vettel to pit also. And uh, I believe that's the Raven West of Gonzalez that's also come in. Hamilton, absolute disaster. Um, that's just gone badly wrong for him and that could prove uh, uh, almost fatal. Bottas, perfect time to come in. Great stop by the uh, British-based Raven West team. And oh, just ahead of Hamilton Gonzalez. Oh, and now here's uh, Mick Schumacher who's also coming in uh, for his pit stop. And look at that, it's chaos. Both racing points and line up at exactly the same time. It is carnage, carnage. But with uh, the safety car, you've got to go and assume both positions back. And um, Schumacher's been able to get from 21st to 12th in that. That is absolutely magnificent work from the Raven West team pit crew to be able to do that young Mick Schumacher the 21 year old uh, getting his real moment up into 12 uh, what Mick Schumacher make of this uh, was born in um, in Switzerland funny enough 21 years ago there's a Murrayism for you um, only able to see his dad win five world championships instead of seven Valtteri Bottas uh, with hope to be able to challenge for this year's championship. Always threatening. Uh, safety car at the moment is uh, out there and um, both these cars. Safety car driver today. Uh, you may or may not remember him. Um, he's a uh, uh, famous uh, um, Australian uh, driving the race today. It's an Australian stick. Some might say that he's quite enjoying himself today. Anyway, let's talk about the drivers and let's talk about Valtteri Bottas' wonderful start and him leaning in Hamilton here. Can you guys explain a bit, please? The Mountain are basically out of race with a pit stop behind. We've lost time behind me. Well, Hamilton quite rightly upset um, and it uh, looks as if, rather right, potentially, uh, the decision to box was uh, a Bottas' last minute call and it's uh, really affected Lewis Hamilton in this race so it's a case of uh, what can Lewis go to do to recover that is exactly what he's going to have to do and uh, he's sitting at the moment on the grid in fourth place and um, just getting word here that Latifi is out to retire due to an engine problem uh, remains to be seen this season potentially if the uh, Williams team will still be here at the uh, end of, of this uh, season so safety car is coming in, safety car is due to come in in this lap and when it does, Valtteri Bottas now effectively is the safety car and in the uh, uh, Raven West Honda is Hector Gonzalez in third place so on your debut race you've got the potential to get a pole position I don't think in your wildest dreams anyone could dream or believe this but it is happening and we're back up and racing and the Australian Grand Prix is back underway and Hamilton is just trying his best and that's a brilliant start by Gonzalez so Bottas, Vettel, Gonzalez, Hamilton, Albon, Sainz, Ricardo, Leclerc, Verstappen, Magnussen, Schumacher's up to 11 and past Giovinazzi and Gonzalez is having to defend Lewis Hamilton like anything he's also got Alex Albon sniffing round his gearbox Gonzalez well, what can he do? An open wheel specialist, uh, team principal, Chris Whiteman, has said that he's got his full backing this season. He is their lead driver. We're on board with the Raven West side. It's a new livery. And uh, let's see what we can do. We're watching him power up, go through. Now, um, they're edging their way forwards towards uh, the uh, final section of this Grand Prix of this uh, race as I should say and Lewis Hamilton that Mercedes is just running so nicely and Hamilton just thinks about a pass around the outside and, and uh, good defensive uh, work uh, by Gonzalez shutting the door doing an excellent job and it just allows him just to pick up a bit of space but Hamilton in that Mercedes will also keep, will be keen to come again and through to the start finish straight we are well 
over halfway in this distance in this Grand Prix. And uh, I will wait for the DRS to be back open. But the Raven West side, uh, the British based side, they've got to try and get past the Mercedes in their brand new livery for this year. It's to be commended and a wonderful uh, sight it is. Uh, the Black Arrow, I have to say, that Mercedes does look fabulous, as does the Raven West. Delightful uh, setup for both cars. Um, Vettel and uh, Bottas are pulling away at the moment and starting to edge away uh, bit by bit um, from the Raven West. And the Mercedes is making the attempt, so Gonzalez is having to defend. And every time he's defending, it's down Albon and Sainz uh, to get ever closer still. Melbourne always a, a wonderful event whenever we do have racing here and this is a key moment in the Grand Prix as we stand. So this is Lewis Hamilton. Does he fancy a way past? Does he fancy a way through to the podium? Um, and you can see here it's Gonzalez's skill very much which is keeping that car in third place because it would seem when you look at the train of cars behind as we come through to the start finish straight that is the main issue that these drivers are facing. This is Mick Schumacher got himself into 11th and he's 1.1 seconds behind 10th position and what would be an incredible performance in his first Grand Prix a point uh, something this old man uh, um, wasn't able to do in his first Grand Prix though this old man did produce a stunning qualifying performance in the Jordan way back in Belgium Spa in 1991 I don't remember it. Right, here's the Raven West of Gonzalez, who's defending again. He's got Hamilton right behind him. And uh, this, this battle is intensifying. Hamilton tries to go around the outside. He's breaking heavily, locks up his front right wheel. Good defensive work again by Gonzalez. But for all the time Hamilton's being held up in this race, I don't think you can blame this. You've got to blame the uh, double pit maneuver and uh, what was agreed. And look at that for a shot. Verstappen still further down the track after his collision with Leclerc that made all the difference. Does Hamilton have enough this time? Can Gonzalez go? They break side by side and oh! So close again and I think Sainz is fancying a go on Alex Albon. Sainz trying to go around the outside. He might have to do it around this corner. If he can hold it off, he will have the line. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant driving. But Albon comes back and doesn't have enough. That's fantastic racing by Sainz. Well, his dad was uh, an excellent driver, particularly on a surface in which his car could go sideways. That brings him up to fifth. Alex Albon in sixth. Daniel Ricciardo, the local boy, is in seventh place. Max Verstappen is in eighth. Leclerc is in ninth after their collision. And Kevin Magnussen is tenth. Mick Schumacher is eleventh, closing the gap. Bottas still leads Vettel. Gonzalez still is in a podium position for Raven West on their debut Grand Prix. What a performance that could potentially be today. It's uh, Albert Park Circuit. Always uh, a wonderfully uh, attended occasion and uh, the fans are out in force. But at the moment, Bottas is continuing to edge away with Vettel. Hamilton knows he has got to get past Gonzalez if he is to have a chance of uh, chasing them down. But the longer this goes, the more difficult that might be. Hamilton again is trying on Gonzalez. Oh, he's there, the open wheel specialist. And we can see there because every time Hamilton has made a move, it's been the skill of Hector Gonzalez which has denied him every single time. I'm sure Raven West owners Nathan McCain will be absolutely delighted in that. And uh, I'm sure the team principal, Chris Whiteman, will be absolutely ecstatic with how the driver's gone. This is Lewis Hamilton. This is the start finish straight. DOS is open. Now, will he try the undercuts? Oh, going wide is Gonzalez. It's a tight moment here. It's all going to depend into turn three. Has Hamilton gone enough? I think he has. Yes, Hamilton has. And Gonzalez comes back and sends one down. Does he have enough to hang on to it? He does. It forces the McLaren of Science to also attack Lewis Hamilton's car. So could this be a moment? In the Grand Prix with Lewis Hamilton, he's hung on to fourth place. Well, that's another example of a driver going for the...
glory moments. It has backfired again. It's backfired on Verstappen. It has backfired on Leclerc. And now it's Hamilton again. Got to be seeing that red mist at the moment. And is he trying to go around the outside? He can't again. He's shut off by Gonzalez again. Lewis Hamilton. Goodness me. Well, this is a fabulous performance by uh, Gonzalez. And Hamilton, does he have enough to go through? And just, just how is Gonzalez able to recover like this? This is magnificent driving. And the two drivers again are locked in battles. And look at this. The battle here this is approaching for third place. One, two, three, four, five, seven cars. Now this battle is for. And there is a move by um, Alex Albon, I believe. Yes, it is Alex Albon trying to hold up signs. And Verstappen is sitting right behind also. So, this is uh, Alex uh, Albon that's just gone through. Look at the speed. You can see what they're doing here. Eighth gear coming up to 190 mile an hour. Braking heavily. Wonderful, wonderful shot that is. So, with uh, two laps to go of the Australian Grand Prix, Valtteri Bottas... Uh, Lee Sebastian Vettel, Hector Gondalas is still third, Lewis Hamilton is fourth, Alex Alman is fifth, and Sainz is uh, sixth, Max Verstappen is in seventh, and the local boy Daniel Ricciardo is eighth, Charles Leclerc in the Ferrari is ninth, and Magnussen is tenth, and young Mick Schumacher is still in eleventh place, so can he do enough to come through and claim a point uh, in his uh, Grand Prix? That would be something else entirely. We're uh, now going to follow... Uh, the battle well, for third place. This is Lewis Hamilton. Does he have enough this time? The tyres has got to be in and eventually Hamilton does get past. Will he be able to hold it? He might. Gonzalez may think about it. Lewis Hamilton in the Mercedes has got third place. Can he survive? Can he survive a Gonzalez counter attack? Yes, he can. Gonzalez breaks late and Gonzalez does it again. What a bit of driving by Hector Gonzalez in the Raven West. Goodness me, that was something else. And now Alex Albon, the um, driver from Thailand, sitting in fourth place. Uh, now Gonzalez takes a strange line out of turn 16, down the pit straight. DRS is open. Lewis Hamilton is through to third place again. Now the question is, can Lewis Hamilton hold off Hector Gonzalez? Oh, this has been an absolutely terrific battle and it has been, must say today, some fantastic racing. And oh, how close was that? Oh, and the back end just kicking out of Gonzalez's Raven West Honda. Wow, we what a ball three. Come on, let's just see. Now, Lewis Hamilton's got a pass and starting to put a bit of space in. So, can Gonzalez... Hold off and uh, at least get fourth. It was a podium position, but Lewis Hamilton, well, just think about nearly, nearly half the race distance. There he is defending and having to do an incredibly difficult job. And, uh, an excellent effort Gonzalez has made today. It's been a, a pleasure watching him uh, race. And then this is a, a heads up of what we're going to get from the Raven West team for this season. Ladies and gentlemen, put yourself in. Get yourself subscribed. Get yourself with the notification buttons on for the channel. So if you like your Grand Prix racing, excellent. We're going to see it right here on uh, the Chris W Virtual Sports Commentator channel indeed. And now uh, Albon is channeling everything he has to break late into turn one. Oh, so close again but just enough to get through. And uh, Alex Albon's into fourth. Gonzalez is down to fifth. And is uh, now facing trouble from Sainz. He's got to go heavy on the defensive to stop Sainz passing in the McLaren. Woking base side, seeing what they can do. And excellent, excellent drive at the moment. And uh, you feel for Gonzalez, that car isn't quite up to the standards, he qualified well, but his race pace isn't quite there yet. But I mean, you wonder that this season go well, will this allow them to stay perhaps a bit more competitive as uh, time goes on? Fifth place, Carlos Sainz behind in the McLaren in six, Max Verstappen in seventh, having to go defensive again. Oh no! It looked to be a collision of tyres potentially between Gonzalez and Sainz. And Hector Gonzalez is Grand Prix and it's all gone wrong and this is it. 
Who's to blame here? I'd probably say Gonzalez has tried to squeeze Carlos Sainz a touch of tyres. The Sainz, this is um, this is front wheel damage. Well, let's look at this again. And uh, is that down to 41 inexperience potentially? Either way, it's been calamitous for the Raven West side. It's been a uh, disaster for them. But young Mick Schumacher, they've still got. It's been a fabulous Grand Prix for Valtteri Bottas. New attitude that he's got. And, uh, oh, there's another crash coming through in the middle. And that may have just uh, helped Gonzalez come through. And we're watching the final few moments of this Grand Prix come through. And there it is. There is the classification. Bottas, Vettel, Hamilton, Albon, Sainz, Verstappen, Ricardo, Leclerc. And incredibly, Mick Schumacher due to that last second crash, has got through on Gonzalez. That's put some points on the board. First of this season. Brilliant result, mate. Just brilliant. Thank you, boys. Great job we have done this weekend all together. Well, Toto Wolf and the uh, Mercedes team will be delighted with how Valtteri Bottas has done this season. A race winner. An unstoppable race he had after he got ahead of Hamilton into turn one he never looks back and then this Mercedes looks as, as good as it was last season Sebastian Vettel tried to follow him as best he could but uh, despite heroics by um, Hector Gonzalez Hamilton has got through to thirds it's Mercedes that take first and thirds and uh, it is Valtteri Bottas that gets the season off to a flying start for the flying Finn Well, a magnificent race it was here at Alba Park. And let's look at the full classified results of all the drivers and how they've done today. Valtteri Bottas was your winner in the end. Lewis Hamilton was third and did set the fastest lap. So an extra point for him. Vettel is in second. Alex Albon in the Red Bull comes through in fourth. Carlos Sainz in the McLaren is through to fifth. Uh, what an improvement McLaren have made over time. Max Verstappen is through in sixth. And uh, Daniel Ricciardo is through into seventh. Well, what a brilliant Grand Prix. Absolutely magnificent to be part of this. And uh, we hope you really enjoyed it. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel as well. Make sure you hit the notifications as well. From me, Trevor Walker, thank you very much. And we'll see you next week. Bye-bye.